Yes. I'm always nervous when I look at the camera when I first start filming, so let's just get right into it. Remember to stay hydrated and check it out guys, we have a brand new Yeti water bottle customized from the House of Blades today's video sponsor. And today we're checking out the brand new 533-3 carbon fiber mini bug out. I think this might be the very best mini bug out you can buy today and we'll go over all that stuff in this video, let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a good day. And today we're going to be talking about the brand new Benchmade Mini Bug Out in Carbon Fiber and S90V Blade Steel. For all of you Benchmade fans, here you go, one of the newest knives that they have to offer. Let's go ahead and give you guys some quick details about this knife before I let you guys know what my thoughts are. So in terms of overall clothes length, you're looking at about 3.7 inches. When you go to deploy it, you're at about 6.49 inches. The blade length is about 2.89 inches so if you're in a state where you have to carry something that is under three inches this is absolutely perfect it comes in at 1.5 ounces which is ridiculously lightweight especially with some of these add-on features that we'll talk about here in just a moment you've got a deep carry pocket clip of course the carbon fiber scales and then s90v for the blade steel now this new mini bug out is actually the little brother to the full-size version you'll just notice that everything is just kind of scaled down i haven't actually disassembled this one yet to compare the internals but the axis locks feels pretty similar in terms of the overall size and then as well as the deep carry pocket clips when you go to close these knives you'll notice that this one just feels so much smaller it's like a night and day difference when you carry these two while we're on the subject of size comparison if you guys have already handled one of these the mini Osborne this thing is gonna be very similar in terms of the overall length the mini Osborne is gonna be just a tad longer than the mini bug out it's also gonna going to be just a little bit thicker. So if you've handled the mini Osborne, it's going to be pretty similar, but in a little bit of a different taste. Let's go ahead and compare it to my custom bug out. So this one has flitanium, micarta scales, along with the carbon fiber backspacer. In all honesty, I think I like this one quite a bit more just because of how well it's contoured. And people have done this before in the past, you know, they'll throw on carbon fibers, flitanium scales on their mini bug outs. Unfortunately, with the flitanium scales, I just don't really like how how it feels in the hand. And that's why I like my full size bug out so much is because these carbon fiber scales are just amazing. You probably won't feel this type of carbon fiber with any other manufacturer. Benchmade has done it with their mini super freak, their custom bug out, this 535-3, and then now this 533-3. I'll give you all my thoughts here in just a moment, but a quick word for today's sponsor. So I get this question all the time. Where do I get my knives? Whether it's a budget Civivi knife or a really hard to get Chris Reeve knife, that answer is going to be House of Blades, today's video sponsor. They're located out of Fort Worth, Texas and have an incredible showroom. But what's really interesting is their brand new website. They have a bunch of connections in the knife industry, so they can offer brands like Benchmade, Microtech, Chris Reeve knives, Kershaw, ZT, just to name a few. And a matter of fact, one of my most favorite knives in my collection is from House of Blades. That is gonna be the Wee Banter House of Blades exclusive. This thing comes with beefed up copper scales as well as a 20 CV blade. But what's really cool is they put my logo on the blade. You guys can do this to your knives as well. All you need to do is contact House of Blades via email or give them a call, send over your design, pick a knife and they will laser engrave whatever image it is to the blade. This will really give you a lot of personalization and a one-off feel to your knife. Let's get back to the video. So if you guys wanna get this brand new Benchmade mini bug out, I'll be leaving a link in the description below low to House of Blades along with a 10% discount. That's actually going to save you about $27 off of the full $270 price point. Let's go ahead and talk about what I don't like about this knife. So first off, I really do not like the Benchmade stock mini deep carry pocket clip. These things are really hard to get inside my pockets personally. So what I usually do is I swap them out for the full size clip. Unfortunately, this is a mini bug out. So putting a full size clip on this thing doesn't really work out too well. You know what, as a matter of fact, here you go. This is the full size deep carry pocket clip that's upgraded. And just imagine this clip on the mini bug out. It just doesn't work. It takes up the entire scale. And I wish that they would just make a smaller version of this clip because this is one of the best clips out there. They usually only go for about 10 bucks on Benchmade's website. So they're just 
really easy and accessible. So yeah, the pocket clip is not my favorite. The next thing that is a huge gripe of mine is where they put the price. This thing is literally $10 less than its full size counterpart. That's just ridiculous in my opinion. I think they could have just brought this price down quite a bit and it would be an easier pill to swallow if it was at like the $200 price point. There's a lot of competition nowadays and you can get some really insane knives at around the $270 price bracket. But yeah, those are my negative thoughts on this knife specifically. Let's go ahead and talk about the positives. So the first thing is if you're looking for a super lightweight knife, one and a half ounces is literally nothing. You can literally put Put this knife in your shorts, your sweatpants, whatever you're wearing that's super comfy and this thing will just absolutely disappear more so than the full size bug out even. It doesn't weigh down your pockets. It's not super tanky like other knives that I have. And that's just something that I really like about it. Next up is gonna be ergonomics for such a small knife. I can actually fit all of my fingers around the scale, no problem, and it's very comfy to use. I do have a small hot spot here on my hand when I go to grip it really hard, but it's not so much the fact that it makes me really uncomfortable. This knife feels amazing in comparison to any stock mini bug out. I would even put it in the realm of being completely different. It's almost like it's a different knife when you do go to handle it. You guys will understand if you go to your local shop and handle one of these, it just feels 10 times more premium than the original mini bug out. Of course, we're comparing plastic scales versus carbon fiber and the carbon fiber just feels that much better. The next thing is gonna be the blade. So up until now, you could only get S30V with your mini bug outs. They have now gone with a premium steel and that's going to be S90V. With all of my S90V blades, they have been very good. I haven't actually had to sharpen S90V just yet and that's probably a good thing. I've got my custom bug out which is an S90V, my mini freak, and then a few others and this stuff is just really good in terms of edge retention. You can see that this thing is just super slicey. Now my situation is a little bit different because I'm always rotating through knives but I feel like this is going to be one that's going to make it in my pockets pretty frequently. The next positive thing that I want to say about this is how perfect it is for a pouch. Here's my Mighty Pouch Plus, and this thing just slots right in, giving it plenty of space to zip and everything. I feel like this knife was made for the Mighty Pouch Plus. Now, this will go for any of the other mini bug out variants, but this one specifically deserves to be carried just because of how premium it is. We didn't really talk about the backspacer lanyard hole that they've got here. This thing is pretty nice. It's made out of blue anodized aluminum that matches up with the thumb studs. If you've got larger hands, it might be a good idea to go ahead and throw on a lanyard so that way you can really choke up to it. And I would say if you've got like, you know, the XL double X hands, that would be necessary. It's just really nice that they left that option there and then also gave it a really nice aesthetic touch. On a normal mini bug out, this is all you get, right? Just the hole through it and that's it. Whereas this new backspacer just looks really nice. So who do I think this new knife is for? I think this is going to be for someone that is into Benchmade knives specifically. If you've already got a large bench made collection. Just like me, I love Benchmade knives. This is an awesome addition to the collection. And if you're someone that just wants a really small knife that's gonna disappear in your pockets and is there when you need it, this is a perfect option. It is gonna be a little bit more spendy, but it's not a bad investment. If you're just barely getting into knives, this might not be the route that I would personally suggest. I'm a huge endorser of starting out with budget-friendly knives first and then scale up into the more premium knives. Start off with brands like Kershaw, Civivi, there's a lot of other brands that you can dabble your toes in and just kind of test the waters, see what you like the most and then invest into something. This is just my opinion. I absolutely love Benchmade knives. I love the minimalistic touches that they throw onto them. There's no other knife companies that have very similar designs to them and their knives feel very special to me. They're also manufactured in the USA and that's why I like repping them. They're not paying me to say any of this stuff, but this new mini bug out is definitely worth it. But there you guys go. My thoughts on the new Benchmade mini bug out. What are your guys' thoughts on the new mini bug out? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, throw me a thumbs down. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live and then also when I do my live streams. Thank you so much to all my patrons and return subscribers. I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today and I'll catch you all the next one. Peace out.